Are you struggling in finding the real time bugs? You struck with many websites, but you are not able to find out a bugs on uh, Buckcloud platform or hacker one from where you need to start are you a beginner in cyber security are, do you want to start your career in bug hunting so this is the right video watch this video till end and you are able to find out a real time bug because in this video i will demonstrate a real time examples real i will take a real time website and we will hunt a bug this platforms help you to report each and every bug of different different websites which is available on the google directly on this website so you can use this website and uh, you can report your bugs so there is a very uh, this process is very much simple first of all you need to open this website that is openbugbounty.org and uh, just click on sign in with twitter remember this thing on this particular platform you can only log in if you have a twitter account so when you click on this one it will ask you for your twitter account if you have already logged in just authorize this app automatically it will take your username from your twitter account okay now the second process is like we need to start hunting for the bug so first of all let's hunt for the bug real time bug we will get it and then we will we will talk what type of a vulnerability are there so when you click on the report of vulnerability here you can see the list of vulnerability that you can find on any of the live website so cross site scripting is there cross site request forgery is there improper access control is there gdpr pii exposure is there and open redirect to vulnerability so these five vulnerability in any website which is available on a google bing anywhere you can report these five bugs on this particular platform so how you can find out this bug so first of all in today's video i'm going to take a improper access control vulnerability so improper access control vulnerability allows any attacker to access those directory which is present on the server and those are password protected files so let's suppose on any website you have, you have created multiple directories in some directories you have uploaded the user documents when you will find an option in the website to upload a document so definitely the user will upload their document and this, this these documents will be stored somewhere on the server so if there there is a folder named as a upload and if all those documents are listed are you know uploaded inside that particular folder and if attacker is able to access that folder without any username and a password that it become a big vulnerability for any company so this vulnerability comes under improper access control so it means the access control are not properly configured on that server on that folder and anybody with having the exact name exact address of that folder can access it it's a simple bug it's not a big bug and not a complex one now how to find this bug on a real time website so first of all let's hunt as much as website as you can by you by seeing this practical so uh, for finding a bugs we are using a google doc so google doc helps you to you know find a vulnerable website which is available on the google doc by the name itself google doc is there so definitely it will find a bug in a google itself so uh, how to find how to create a you know first of all our main requirements are tapan sir i do not know how to create a google doc so the simple step is exploit-db.com just open this website this website contain many google docs which helps you to find out a vulnerable website now your first question tapan sir why we are you know using a google doc because i don't think so that it's a good practice to use a google doc in order to find out a bug yes you are right by uh, like by uh, finding a bugs by using a google doc is not a right practice but in bug hunting first of all you have to develop your confidence by reporting multiple vulnerability when you do one task multiple times so you are going towards the perfection not towards not towards the learning the bug by reporting a single bug you get to know what is the process how you can find out a bug but when you repeat this process 100 time when you report uh, this vulnerability in 100 other other websites so you understand like on this parameter we have this type of a bug so basically i am preparing you for you to uh, to make your mind like a vulnerability assessment tool where you automatically analyze a website and without using any software you are able to find out with your perfection that on this parameter i will be able to get this particular issue so that's why it is very much important to do the some to do some practice directly if you are going on a hacker one or a bug crowd you will lose your patience and you will stop doing a bug hunting so i do not want that i want each one of you those who are looking at our videos will definitely find a bug and you know in the comment section you will let me know after completing this video are you able to find out this vulnerability in any live website or not i am damn sure that you will definitely find out that without wasting time uh, start with the uh, finding the google doc so uh, here you can see on the left hand side there is a exploit and another one is a gsdp so select gsdp that is google hacking database in gsdp 
when you scroll down it will give you a lot of uh, lots of uh, google doc so might be possible all of all of them are not you know uh, uh, not uh, not provide you the exact information for which you are looking for to so do one thing filter this information so click on a filter click on the category in the category just type sensitive just select sensitive directories remember thing uh, remember one thing sensitive directories means those direct those that directories which are not allowed to access any other user those who do not belongs to that organization do not and those uh, those people those who do not have a authorization to access those folder so we need to find out those folders okay so here you can see it provides you a various google docs but remember one thing use those google docs which are generic in nature it means like admin slash upload so it's a common one many website contain this folder but if you'll go with the index of scada so might be possible you will get a limited limited number of a website here you can see pyvenv.cfg uh, might be possible for this particular extension you will get limited website so do not take a uh, do not take a you know a gen uh, a specific google doc but take a generic google doc okay so here you can see file admin it's a good one so just press control button and click on this particular link it will automatically open a new tab okay then after that uh, the another one is a payment is a good uh, good one uh, right now i'm not taking payment but click on an invoice now we need how uh, uh, what you are looking for in the website so i will let you know what you are looking for what type of a bug uh, uh, what type of a you know graphical interface that you can see and you can you can judge that it's a improper access, access control vulnerability so just take two or three google doc because might be possible one cannot satisfy your needs okay so let me check uploads content upload do not take this wp hyphen content because it is a wordpress website okay little bit down go on the next page here you can find multiple google docs okay so you can to you can choose any one here you can see admin slash download so you can take this one okay so here you can see we have three google docs so now click all of them it will automatically open a new tab and it will type that in the google so now remove this one only the search google search should be there on your tabs so here you can see you are able to get some information so first click second now check so here you can see when you are able to see this index of file admin and some logs so it means you are able to access the logs when you click on it it's a server logs are you able to see this this is a server logs and it is not allowed to access by anyone okay because it's a server log it includes various information about the user as well the, their information ip address so this is a this directory should be restricted by the administrator and you are able to see it so then it become a bug because you are not authorized to access this folder so basically if you are able to access those folder which is not allowed to access by anyone so what you can do just copy this link copy this link and uh, go on that platform first of all tick mark this option i agree with the above mentioned ethics guideline because like all these are the you know guidelines that you can just read out and understand what you need to do now here you can see just uh, put this url over here and again go back wait a second now you need to know the contact detail of this so do one thing just copy this uh, url a domain name paste it somewhere in the next tab and check what website it is so here you can see just click on english and try to get the email id so he here we get the email id if you got the email id then it will be much easier for the open Bug bounty platform to directly contact to this uh, to the website administrator if you will not provide the uh, email id then it will be a little bit harder for them to find out the to contact with that particular site owner so all, i always recommend you to you know get the email id but if in case the email id is not listed on the website then leave it as it is and you can directly report that okay now after after you know entering the url in the below you will see i confirm that the vulnerability was detected without using any uh, without using intrusive automated tool so we are not using any tool over here it's we are doing a manual testing guys by using a google doc okay uh, so you can just tick mark this one and in the below you can see notify security uh, specific security contact so just put this email id because uh, through this email id only the open Web bounty platform will communicate with the site owner now click on a submit button now check if uh, this okay they uh, now here you can see now here you can see this report already exists so we have to look for any other website so in this way you have to repeat the process multiple times now here you can see customers i'm able to see this one 
So just click this one. Now try with this. In this way, you have to repeat this multiple uh, multiple times till till you are not able to get enough uh, number of a uh, website. Just remove the previous one and put this. Check. Okay. Now get the email IDs. That map contact. Yes. Where is the email ID? Yes, here you can see. Okay, in this way you can. I can just copy this one. Now go here. Put this. It mark this one. Enter this email ID. Now let's wait and check if we are able to report it or not. It's already exist. Now check for the next one. In this way you have to check it, guys. I think you are understood now. So here you can see you are able to see the index of user data. Now again go back to the same process and repeat this process until you are you will not get that wait a second. Yeah. You will not get your uh, we have uh, you know taken your submission message. Now click here. Now check for the email ID. Remove this one. In the starting, you get to know that this doc is used by someone else if more than two or three website got report, uh, reported all earlier only. Now, I am not able to understand what is written over here. Don't worry, take any of them. Table this one, copy email ID, try to report it here. Now try this one. Sorry. Let me copy this again. Copy email ID. Put it here. Click on submit. So here you can see. Thanks. Thank you public's uh, vulnerability submission will be verified soon. So in this way you can find a box. You can find a improper access control vulnerability. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, the way the way you are able to find out it's a very small but the impact is very really very high because if you are able to see all those documents which is uploaded by the user so it become a problematic for the companies as well because they need to protect this particular document so this is very useful vulnerability and this is a very simple process in finding improper access control in any website now you have to report it multiple times so here you can see pending submission you can also check for the pending submission if uh, it got accepted and you will see in a pending here you can see it is in a pending they will verify it and as soon as they will verify it automatically they will it will come on a hold so in hold it means it got selected uh, it got uh, accepted now they uh, they have informed uh, that particular asset owner now click on the check now to check the status of this particular vulnerability if it has got resolved right now right now verification is in process it got resolved so here you will see the patched uh, you know best option so in this way you can find out the vulnerability and you can uh, report it on the open web bounty platform it is very much useful to uh, you know report this vulnerability so that it will build your data it, it will build your you know profile and when you click on this particular uh, website name automatically you will see that this bug id is registered by your name only so you can add this particular in your resume as well because in resume if someone will ask you have you found any bugs so you can initially you can Put this as a reference and slowly slowly you will start you will start you know finding bugs after uh, developing a lot of confidence by using this platform you can go on a hacker one and bug crowd and then you can also start hunting uh, these bugs on that platform but initially you should you should start your career uh, in the bug bounty uh, bug bounty with um, by using this platform open bug bounty okay so i think i will not uh, stress this video anymore and uh, i hope this video will be very much helpful in finding the real time bugs i hope this video will be helpful so please like this video and comment if you have any question and if you want to if you, if you want us to create uh, any video on any other tools so please uh, drop that in the comment box thank you thank you for uh, for this video have a nice day take care bye bye